What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button and let me know. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and subscribe if you are not already and you guys do enjoy this video. So you're gonna notice this video is really short. That's because I took this footage a couple weeks ago and I was gonna hold off on it and wait until I was able to go to the thrift again um, and make it longer. But at this rate, I have no idea when that's gonna be. So I figured I'd just go ahead and upload it, the little bit of footage that I do have. But yeah, this video is gonna be really short, but I do hope you guys do enjoy it anyway. So here you go. I found three Kevin Owens tees, who is my favorite wrestler on the roster right now in WWE. They're all three X though, and this one somebody cut the sleeves off. I guess they were trying to be like him. And there's also this Sting one right here, three X for 195. Wish he would have had a better run in WWE, but it's what it is. Size large for $1.99. We got the 1993 Dallas Stars single stitch tee, dated 93 right there. It's on an old Haynes tag. We got the old school Washington Huskies, size XL for $1.99 on a Russell Athletic tag. This one right here is pretty cool. We got the OG Grant Hill Fila T for $2.99 size XL. There's the Fila made in the USA tag. And then on the back, you got Grant Hill shooting. This one's actually really cool. $1.99 size medium. We got the Goku T newer, but these always move on Mercari. And then this one right here, size large for $2.49 on the Onita tag. We got the Ultimate Super Bull Challenge. I have no idea. I just thought that the graphic was really cool on this one. I really like the colors they used on this one. Size large, $2.49. I found this uh, Woodstock shirt right here. It's a newer liquid blue shirt. They want $2.99 for it. Three days of peace, music, and love. There's not really very much um, in this store. I think I've already went through the whole store and found these two tees. And then the other one I found is this Goku black tee right here. Um, but they want $4.99 for that one. Definitely would have got this if it was my size, but it's not. Two sizes too small. I found these two polo shirts right here. This one size large, $4.99. You do have the little tiny pony, and then you got the two on the sleeve. But this one I think is better. You got the little crest logo right there. $3.99 size large, and on the back you got the big five patch. So if either of the two, I'll probably go ahead and grab this one. Couple GameCube games. Sonic Riders is not in there, but I did find these. I never watched these personally, but um, they look pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm missing volume four though. It's one, two, three, and five. <laughs> found these two hats. I thought they were pretty cool. This Interstate Batteries one I'm probably most likely going to get. Uh, I just thought the it was really cool how it has the spell out right there on the brim and it's like the Texas flag. And then this one, this Ski Apache Corduroy. I'm assuming it's like a resort in New Mexico is what I have looked up and saw. So, I don't know. Most definitely going to get this one. And then on the back of that one, you got Inaugural Race. Inaugural Race. Inaugural. Inaugural. <laughs> uh, April 6, 1997. And that one's $2.99. Looking through the shoes, I found a pair of Wool Jordan 3s, which I totally forgot about until just now. For 20 bucks, they're actually not too bad. They just need a good cleaning, size 12. And then check out this LFC Reebok hat I found, strap back. There's a tag. That one they want $2.99 for, all wool. So I guess it's kind of just like a wooly day. <laughs> Alright guys, is this a cop? <laughs> Check out this Gengar backpack I found. Um, it's not dated or nothing, but it does have like the official Pokemon tag, $1.99. His ears are like slick back, so he kind of looks weird. Here's some little Orlando Tans, uh, size two and a half. They want $8.99 for them though. I don't know. Check out what I just found for $2.49. We got the Sandnit Chicago Bears number 45 jersey. Down here you got the Sandnit XXL. NFL and they got that one priced at $249 I guess because it's not like uh, Nike or Adidas or anything like that so go ahead and grab that found this 1993 uh, brand new attack still size XL they want six bucks for it though it says when I die bury my balls next to the old bag but I don't know about for six bucks though so that's the end of this video. Like I said, it's super short, so I apologize, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Hopefully everything will go back to normal soon. I'll be able to go to the flea market and the thrift stores. I have no idea how some of the YouTubers are still uploading trips to the thrift. They must have had a whole bunch of them backlogged. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm not one of the people that had them backlogged. So yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be able to make more videos, but uh, hopefully it's soon. But I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, quick little short video. So I'll see you guys soon, later, and uh, be safe.